Tornado sirens are just one of the many resources available to help you stay safe during severe weather. We continue our team coverage with Way 31's Xavier Wary. He's live now at the storm shelter in Owens Crossroads after speaking to officials about how you can stay safe. Xavier. Hey, Dan, Nikhil, I'm outside of this storm shelter right here. And while the doors are currently locked, if we do enter a tornado watch, you're going to see people from Owens Crossroad come down here and unlock these doors. Now, each storm shelter is different, so check with your storm shelter to see what their procedure is. But I'll tell you, the most important thing you can do to stay safe is to have a plan. Owens Crossroads Chief of Police Jason Dobbins is a firm believer that you can't be too safe. When the environment's unstable, uh, you can never determine what it's actually going to do. Chief Dobbins told me how his group of first responders prepare to open up the shelter once we are under a tornado watch. We unlock our storm shelters here and we have an officer stationed outside to assist anybody with, uh, you know, any possible handicapped or anything like that or elderly that needs assistance getting in and out of the vehicles to get make sure that they get inside the uh, storm shelters safely. I asked Chief Dobbins, who are the people that typically need storm shelters the most? A lot of it has to do with their living arrangements. Uh, if you live, obviously, if you live in a mobile home, uh, uh, an RV or anything of that nature, or even if you just live in a house that's, you know, fairly old, it's probably best to go ahead and seek uh, the storm shelters. Chief Dobbins offered me some insight as to what people can expect at a storm shelter. Inside the storm shelters, uh, we do have uh, some food, some water, things like that, depending on how long it's going to, uh, it could last. Um, we also try to keep it temperatures uh, regulated inside. And for those who can't get to a shelter or may not need to seek one out, Chief Dobbins has this advice. Everybody needs to make sure they have a, a flashlight, uh, preferably one that runs off of batteries. Make sure the batteries are new and in good working uh, condition. Also make sure to have your weather radio that's also ran off of batteries in case the uh, electricity goes out. Uh, always keep an eye out for uh, rising waters, especially in this area. Uh, and just make sure and listen to your weather alert, uh, listen to your uh, meteorologist. Uh, if they say seek shelter, then definitely seek shelter. Now, another official tells me that if you are especially dependent on getting your weather notification off of apps to make sure that you keep your phone off of Do Not Disturb. And again, I'll say it one more time. The most important thing you can do to stay safe is to have a plan. Reporting live in Owens Crossroads, Xavier Wary, Way 31 News.